Hi, my name is James Bagley. I'm the Head of Art at Plymouth Academy of Creative Arts. I'm just doing a quick video here just to give you an outline of what you could be doing if you were to study the GCSE in Art and Design. The course itself follows a Fine Art endorsement, which means you'll be exploring a broader range of techniques and processes that build on what you've done in Key Stage 3. So as well as painting and drawing, you'll also be doing more 3D work, ceramics, you'll have the opportunity to do printmaking, so you'll be learning to do line cutting, you'll learn to do colour graphs and etching, You'll also be doing digital work, working with Photoshop, and you'll also be doing mixed media where you'll be combining techniques and processes. Now all of these specialisms will support you in your assignments that you'll do throughout the course. Uh, the course itself is based on two components. Component one is the portfolio, which is basically the coursework. So that will go through all of year 10 and into year 11. And then component two is the externally set assignment which is an external theme that I don't know about that will be sent in in January and then you'll work to that theme in what we call preparatory time. So from January to May, you'll be developing a project and then you'll be doing a 10 hour controlled period where you'll produce your outcome to that assignment. Um, in component one, which is 60% of your mark, um, you will be developing ideas through a range of projects. Now these projects will be um, broad in themes, so you'll have a range of themes, you will take one of those themes and you will develop it and you'll take it from the beginning, you'll experiment, you'll explore, you'll develop and then eventually you'll produce an outcome. Um, over time that will build up your portfolio and that will be where, as I've said, most of your marks come from. And the external set assignment, component two, is really just demonstrating that you are established and you are confident in that in that process of how you develop a project from beginning to end. Um, so on top of that, we will be doing a range of educational visits. Uh, so we'll be going to London. We'll also be working with Plymouth College of Arts and uh, other local practitioners to help develop and broaden your understanding of uh, professional practice and also the history of art. Um, you will be expected to do writing and annotation to support your ideas. It is a practical course, but you need to help communicate and justify why you've done those techniques, those processes, why you've developed those ideas. Um, so there is an expectation that it's not just making some work, but also justifying why you've made that work. And that's crucial, really. If you're thinking of going on to do courses in FE um, or to follow on and do A-levels, the key thing they'll be looking for is why you did an idea, Where we, what were you trying to say with that idea, what were you trying to, to do to communicate response to that theme. And that gives you other transferable skills, so you'll start to think about problem solving, you'll start thinking about how you can look at ideas differently. Um, from a professional point of view, you will have um, opportunities to, as I've said, look at practitioners and go to galleries and stuff, but also um, as an industry, it's one of the biggest growing industries in the country. In fact, it's one of the fastest growing industries. I think it's five times faster than most other industries because to creative arts in general is where a lot of the jobs are. So if you were thinking of becoming an artist, that's only one potential route. But what people don't realise is that architecture, fashion, design, product design, um, if you were to go into graphical work, computer game design, there are so many things out there and the starting point will be the GCSE. That will give you the opportunity to then step up onto an FE course or onto an A level and take you on that pathway. Now the main thing for me and for my team really is that if you want to do the GCSE in R, then we will support you as much as we can. But what we want back is that desire, that passion, that energy to want to do the course in the first place. And that love and that passion will come through in your work. And if you want to achieve and you want to be successful, then it's down to you to really develop your ideas and really push yourself to get the best you can. So that's it really. Um, if you're interested in doing the course, then please apply for it. And hopefully we'll see you in September. Okay, bye.